Morning glory, everybody. Oh, what's on today's news? Well, first, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a comment on this video if you like it, give it a thumbs up, and welcome, I guess. But uh, what's on today's to do? Well, we got a rake. So we gotta get that off so that we can go down and start raking. The rake, rake is down at the other yard, so all we have to do is go down there, hook up, and we're good to go. But let's get at it, shall we? But first, we gotta get rid of... Ah, oh, Christ. Hey, birdie. Birdie, 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 birdie. How'd you get in there? Where'd he go? In there. What is it? What's in there? A lion. Seriously though, what's in there? What is it? Easy bird. What kind of bird is it? Yeah, sparrow. You can't be in here, buddy. Let me see. We'll see in a second, because he's got to come out. You go, buddy. Should I shut you in there? What's that? Should I shut you in there? No. How the hell? Maybe he's stuck. No, I don't stuck. How did you get in there, buddy? Do you see him? Maybe he flew out. Maybe he did. I guess you'll find out when you're driving. Yeah. All right, so mower's off. We're fueled, excuse me, we're fueled up. We've got oil, good oil. Uh, oh, what a shame. I am, it's been like a day and a half, I guess. Oh, it's definitely smoked. Oh, what a shame, huh? That was such a nice crop. But, uh, say lovey. All right, so I'm just going around making sure the tires are good. Let's hope that it's good. And then we can start. Everything looks good. This has a tendency to want to crack out. Right there. Now we're good. All right, so let's get to it. That didn't take too long. Um, yeah, we're just clipping right along. We're a long ways. We got a ways to go, but we'll get there. All right, so the guts of the field is done. What we still got to do is the three outside rounds. We'll tuck the edges and everything like that, but my guess is oh, we'll on 1.30 we'll be done. Another field by Oh, before three anyways. Should get us done by six or seven, like everything. That, that field is done. Take it down, take it to go. It is quarter to two. We're not doing too bad. All right, we're about to head into hell. With that thing, I feel like I should say a little prayer now. Yeah, it does flew out of the cap when I got into this field. Not much left now. Uh, we're just doing the outside rounds and cleaning up, but I saw something here. So hold on. Yeah.
little out. Little out shed. I would have been nice in a tire, huh? Anyways, let's kick this off and let's keep going. Well, I guess that's it. Or just about, there's some big sloths out here. So just about it. We just got a little ways up there to go. But, yeah. We just gotta get home. My go, my, my phone is dead. My GoPro is on its way to being dead. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. All right. So, here's left of Millet. Um, look, we'll be ready to go. Like, we'll be ready to rake. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Instead of unhooking the rake to hook up to the baler, then to bale a hundred and some odd acres of hay, and then go back to the rake, and then hook, and then rake the millet. What I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna make sure if it's ready, because if it's ready, I'm gonna go rake those 32 acres of millet. And then, and then, you know, while the dew is burning off, it's wind a little bit windier today, but while the dew is burning off, I'll rake the millet and then I'll go bale that other 70 acres, that first chunk. Because by the time I'm done raking the millet, the dew is going to be ready, like the dew is going to be off. So anyways, let's show you. What I gotta do is I gotta go down to that other yard. I gotta pick up the Tata cinder block and the jack because what happened was I just I didn't have any place to stole them, so I just left them there. So we'll, you know, it's breezy out there, eh? easy breezy, beautiful in weather. All right, so here we are. It's dry. Not no question. So what I'm looking for. Is a really really heavy spot to make the case to not rake it I guess right but this is not that well yeah this is it right? sorry hold on um, let's try and that could be bailed okay get down here with the rake and we'll catch you when we're done all right whoops whoops don't get too close to that okay so sorry but um, yeah, we're going. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, this neck was really light here for whatever reason. I don't know what it was. This is about the lightest neck, but it's picking it up. It seems to be doing okay job. For no reason why I can't bail out. Like I was a little worried if I went too wide. Of course, it's like I said, this is the lightest stuff. So we'll have to see what it's like once we get into the deeper stuff, into the heart, like the more, how would you say, um, thick stuff. But yeah, the color looks good. Even on the light stuff, the color looks really nice. So it's go time. All right. I mean, they're good swaths. They're not bad swaths, but they, they leave a lot to be
legs. The, the seat just sat in the soil for like two, three weeks. Right? If you go back and check, like, I mean, we missed the rain that was supposed to happen, that was supposed to give us the awesomeness. Right? It didn't happen. And a lot of that reason is just because of the year that we had. We were supposed to work this and get this ready in about this time last year. Well, a little bit later. But at this time last year, we were having two feet of snow. So I completely shut this idea down. Now, it's disc. It's been disc. And what I think I want to do, what I think I want to do is go back and re-disc it do the edges because I didn't quite get far enough to the edges that I needed to get, but re-disc it so that we can, so that we, that's what that's going to do, and I've done this before, it's a little trick and it works, but when you disc something, when you disc something, you create basically, basically little peaks and valleys, right? So when those little peaks and valleys, those little peaks and valleys stay there all winter, and what happens is when you get the snow melt and everything, the ground is still frozen because the ground won't thaw unless the snow is gone. But when you get the snow melt, the water, the water that uh, melts off that snow resides in the little valleys and when that happens you get you get something out of that spring melt otherwise you're you're uh, relying on last year's moisture and you know we're quite dry right now at the moment there's a big possibility that we won't have any moisture coming into next spring because, I mean, it's dry. It's like a popcorn fart out here. So, if I disc it again and I create those peaks and valleys, I can trap some of that moisture that I'm going to need. Now, the other aspect that's got to be taken care of is the harvest aspect. I won't be coming in here with a disc mower next year. It just doesn't make sense. Like, there's so many crazy turns, and, uh, well, necks, and everything, that, unless I go buy, like, a 10-wheel, or a 14-wheel rake, and then even that would be too big in most places, just for this wheel, it doesn't make sense, and, you know, now we do have a swather that we didn't use at all, self-propelled swather that puts it through a crimper, 16 foot. I mean, it's tired. It's the that piece of hay equipment that um, the mower replaced. But I think the proper thing to do is to cut it with that. And then you're not trying to figure out how to lay this swath down in, which is impossible because there's so many damn angles. I mean, was it a failure? No, no, not by any stretch. Well, well, four or five times the beat off of here that we got off the grass and see her move over. So, it's no failure. Could it have been so much better? Yeah, it could have been a load, it could have been loads better. So, you just gotta learn, eh, from your mistakes and you uh, 